leeks. Well, they're kind of like a humongous green onion. They're great tasting, they're healthy, and they're a cold hardy plant you can grow. And the cool thing is you can easily regrow your grocery store leek table scraps right in your pond's bog filter for your future delicious kitchen dishes and harvest free leek seeds for future planting. Let me show you how. So get about two to three inch of that base with those roots. Really it's where that white is turning to green. I'm gonna cut it right there. Now this will be your new leek plant and these you could use in your home cooking. Now time for your natural swimming pond, bog filter, table scrap, leek planting. So what I'd like to do is bury the roots in the pea gravel to stabilize the leek while feeding the roots the amazing pond water. I also try to avoid submersing as much of the leek leaves on the sides as I can. Leeks have summer and winter variety plants. Winter variety leeks, I hear, could go as low as sub-zero temperatures being planted in, which is crazy. Usually you could plant in summer for it to be established for those very cold winters. As you could see, I just use my store-bought leek, so I'm not sure if it was a winter or summer variety. I planted this table scrap leek last year, February 28th. And as you can see from this timeline, it's progress. They are cross-pollinated. They are insect-pollinated. And they may also self-fertilize. Leeks are biennial, meaning they will flower and produce seeds in the second year. With this particular leek plant that I planted in the bog filter of the pond, I let it go to seed. I didn't harvest the leek stock beforehand. So, the goal is to harvest those seed pods when they become black seeds. In those individual pods, there's a, a few black small seeds, and those are the seeds of the leek. You want to aim to harvest the leek seeds when at least 60% of those seed heads are mature, usually being brown on the outside. And if you peel that outer layer, it would be black seeds on the inside. If you harvest those seeds before all of them are mature, a trick is cutting that seed head with about a foot of the stem with it to allow the sap to continue to ripen the seeds, which I didn't do this time, but maybe next time. And then once cut, simply keep it dry and put it on a sunny window seal to dry the remaining seeds. So as you could tell here, these seed pods are ready to harvest. So what I did is group those seed pods together and then I just rubbed them together just with my fingertips. Not so hard that you break apart the seeds, but hard enough to break out that outer shell. After crumpling apart those seed pods and freeing those black seeds, I put them in a glass and then I filled it up with water. The idea is the fertilized seeds will sink because they are heavier and then the ones that float along with the outer brown shell that you're just gonna throw away or give to your goats, you're just gonna remove those. But keep the seeds that sink to the bottom as usually those are the fertile ones from where you could plant new leek plants in the future. Here I'm just stirring up the top layer just in case the heavier fertile black seeds got mixed in and kind of lodged in with the non-fertile or the brown outer shell. Now time to scoop out and discard the floating black seeds and the brown outer shell. Once I remove the black seeds that were on the bottom of the glass, I lay them out flat on a plate in order for them to dry. Once the leek seeds are dry, you could store them in a paper bag. You could store them in a, a glass container. Definitely keep them in a dry place. You could put them in the fridge, a maybe a cooler spot in your house or even freezer. They usually can germinate for two or more years. I've heard them germinating for as high as six years, but usually in my research, it's been about two to four years. The best rate of germination is in the first year. Another thing I want to mention is leeks are the only oniony type plant I've planted in the bog filter for my pond. 
I've experimented growing garlic and onions and green onions in water and kind of mock bog filters in my house using planters, but planting media like a pea gravel from my actual bog filter and pond water from my pond. But leeks were the least smelly if they smelt at all and they were the sturdiest plant. And honestly, I've never smelt them in my bog or the pond's water since I planted them. And just for the fun of it, I included some pictures of what the leek plant looks like after I harvested the seeds. This picture shows how the leek looked about two and a half months after harvest in early November. In this picture, it's about four and a half months after the leek seed harvest. It's nice and crisp on the outside and firm, but you could tell it is getting hollow on the inside. And actually, if you pull on it, you would actually have to dig that root system out with your hands. You can't just with ease lift it out. That's how rooted it is. So my game plan is to keep it in there and see what happens and remove rot or any waste that comes from it along the way. It's been uh, about 11 months so far and it's still standing straight up strong. So I hope this has helped you out some or at least given you ideas of how you could actually make your pond a productive and beautiful pond to enjoy. I have done so many experiments. Just It's just taken the time to, to edit the videos and compile my experiments. So if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss another video or another adventure or DIY project I do on United Ranch. God's peace to you. United Ranch out.